Hey guys, Stable Bear. Today we got a fairly early look at the Sumner, the l &M Sumner, Brady McMordoff. Who's this? Looks like a leprechaun. Well, that's actually a disguise for a guy named Mordoff. Same name, but they just add Mick to the front of it. Uh, he's actually available right now in the Halloween set. Okay, now if you're into the event commanders, I'd say he's one of the better ones. Especially if you like American gunboat destroyers. On which I have him on basically all of them, including the Sumner. Two mods on this. We got the hull and the guns. Now the guns, when you get them boosted, the, the reload drops by about a third. That's huge. Hull, you get better rudder shift by a big amount. And the HP goes up as well. So we're about halfway there. I wanted to talk about this and my other destroyers early. Just give you guys an early look at them before we get them fully upgraded. My early thoughts... Now, I got Sumner, I got Yugamo, and I got Z46. Don't have Delny, and I'll talk about Delny here in a moment, and then we're going to do a deep dive on this game because it's a pretty good uh, game. But Sumner, I would say, is the strongest out of all of them that I have. Z46, early impressions. Again, I don't have any mods on it, uh, but the mods don't really look like they improve the ship that much. Bad. Okay, I'd say I'd put Z46 in the bad category. Reserving the right to change my opinion, getting more experience on it, and more uh, upgrades. Okay. Yugamo, good at what it does. Torpedo boat, i.e. the more of them on your team, the lower your chances of winning the game because they're not going to be hunting destroyers. They're not going to be capturing the bases like they should be. Uh, but if you know what you're doing, I think that's going to be a good one. Still got some work to do on that one to get it upgraded. Sumner, I'm finding, to, finding it to be potent. And I'm almost thinking the gearing... I uh, should be afraid of the Sumner. Sumner's got good classic um, maneuverability, good fast reloading guns, everything else that we know and expect. When the Torps get upgraded, by the way, they're going to be 16 and a half kilometer range, and the speed's going to go up to 66. Uh, they're a little bit slower than that now, and the reload goes down. So, I mean, the torpedoes are going to get better. They're still going to be, you know, American torpedoes, but better and you know the gearing i can't think of the gearing torpedoes off the bat but the maneuverability of that ship is so clunky i really don't like it i get uh eliminated in situations that i don't think i would want to be normally just because i don't play it properly i guess but gearing i'm not a huge fan of out of the legendary tier destroyers i'm not that big into it this one on the other hand flips the script i'm really into this one delny okay i strongly suspect the delny is a good ship number one it's the least seen tier eight out of all of them and i'd say the dimitri don square the two you guys didn't vote for on my stream when we were unlocking all these ships i'd say those are the least uh well known or well uh represented out there and i also am curious about both of them the uh, dimitri from what you guys have told me interesting and seems potentially strong but the delany when i'm running into it I, I i'm like it when i'm seeing okay so i'm gonna try and get that unlocked as soon as i can my goal though is to upgrade the ships that i've already unlocked so it's going to be a little while until we can talk about that but the sumner out of the three that i'm familiar with uh pretty strong okay let's start diving into the game here i've had three three thousand point games on the ship so far this is the third one uh it's probably the strategically most interesting and uh it just kind of shows you what we're capable of so we we're trying to open up on b sure we're squaring off against a z46 uh the difference was he had support and we didn't, right? If we were in a straight-up 1v1 fight, as you can see, we were beating the crap out of him. As long as we stay out of that 4.4 sonar range, which is pathetically short range for a, you know, any consumable at uh, Tier 8. It's basically not that useful in a tier where we're going to see a lot of radars and really long-range sonar. So Z46, yeah, we can't... We can beat him in a 1v1. What we can't do is beat him when he's got two support ships and we got none. Okay, so we tried to get B. That's where we spawned. Did a little bit of damage. Left, came over here to support. Okay, now we're tr trying to see what we can do. Uh, we got another destroyer over here. He's been spotting me in and off or on and off. And I got some torps over here in the Massachusetts. He's backing up to avoid those. But as he backs up here, I'm trying to make sure if I can keep these islands between me and the Massachusetts and I can push... This destroyer, I haven't seen what it is yet uh, on the replay at least. If I can push into him, spot him proxy, and then have me and the uh, Bismarck, who's basically on top of me here, we could take out that destroyer very quickly. That'd be a profitable play. Beginning to think the destroyer is disengaging, though it looks like the smoke is dissipating. Twist and track kind of pointing off in the distance, and nobody's spotting. We're not getting spotted with our 5.4 kilometer uh, detection, nor are we spotting the ship. 
Okay, so we're going to see here a good example of why I really don't like to be near ships, especially as a destroyer. Now it's incumbent on me, you know, I'm just as, uh, I'm not blaming the dude for being close to me is my point. I'm just as uh, liable for being as close to him as we are. But we're going to try and pop the smoke here, get this base if we can, because we got A basically for free over there. Uh, we gave a B more or less for free. We took a little bit of HP out of the destroyer, but not a serious contention on that base. And now we're attempting to flip their home cap. That would put us up three to one. That would be a huge scoring play. Want to get on the cap, drop the smoke because we were getting spotted, opening up with the guns. Massachusetts low. Uh, we want to, I'm trying to hit him with HE, get him with at least one flare. Number one, that'll negate to a small extent his infinite health um, consumable with the will to rebuild. If that destroyer is near him, which is a distinct possibility, looks like Twist and Track is pointing over there. So it's possible the destroyer is close enough to heal him uh, to infinity, so we want to burn him down there. We could have considered AP. We'll see some AP into a broadside uh, superstructure of a battleship later in the match. We can see what kind of damage we can get uh, with those. But usually my strategy is get a fire going and then switch to the AP if it's an appropriate uh, broadside shot where we can get more damage. Because generally... You know, if, assuming you're paying attention to the results and you're confirming, okay, yes, I am getting good damage uh, and good penetration with these AP, usually we're going to get more uh, shots there. Now, what is this? That, that's the shot I was talking about earlier. Was that guy shooting at me? Possible. Uh, but it's possible he was aiming at the Bismarck poorly, which would be not uncommon. Or maybe not even poorly. Maybe it was just a dispersion that assigned the shot low. But, it, you know, we're close enough here that the aim point could have been on the battleship and in my opinion probably was on the battleship. And that prompts me to go, okay, we, finally we have to get out of there. Either he's blind firing me, which means he's a good shot, and, and shooting at a, through a cloud, you know, getting a little bit of chip damage here and there. Not a profitable play at that point in time because we would be losing in a trade. Oh, look at this. We just hit a torp there. Keep that in mind. One of the DDs running amok. They got two left. We got one. Oh, well, there's the radar. It's off of the black. Uh, but we got him with a pretty decent torpedo. So... He's a little low there. Uh, the black, people were initially afraid of him. You know, before the ship was launched, uh, even my buddy Metal was attempting to put it into a, a V-Bucks type of a ship, I think, the steel category of ship, and it came out a turn, right? It's it's useful for 15 seconds twice a map with this radar. Other than that, the torps suck, the guns suck, everything about the ship sucks. So to stay alive in that fight, we move forward. So those support ships couldn't once again pile onto us. Uh, shot the black as long as we could, and then we're, okay, now what can we do? Uh, we're not afraid of the black. Those guys are moving forward. My team, look at these battleships moving forward, and this is great. Anytime you can see this at a higher tier game, battleships that aren't parked on the moon uh, halfway through the match means you're probably in a team that's at least trying to win and probably has a pretty decent shot at doing so. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, if we get a black, uh, a shot at the black over here, I'd love to take it, uh, but I would love... To help this guy get on B. Number one, we're going to boost our score and I'm grinding the ships, right? But number two, we're going to seal the win. Once we get four caps to none, they're going to have a real hard time killing us. In fact, or ending the game in a with a win. And in fact, they almost certainly have to kill all of us. Now, if I can stay alive, they're not going to be able to do that, right? And it's up to me as the destroyer to stay alive. Yeah, I made a little bit of a mistake here, though. Noticing as we're coming around the bend, oh, crap, our detection's 5-4. Alabama's closing within that. He was actually 5-2, 5-3, whatever it was. All right, back up. No harm, no fall. We didn't die there. Uh, but it was dangerous. But now that the Alabama's been backed off, onward and upward, right back on to B. Okay, we came here to score some points. We came here to win the game, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to move on to B. Uh, Twist and track, I think, is pointing pretty steeply behind us. And that's a clue right there. The fireworks go off, and I think I'd have to double-check my build, but often as a destroyer, those those uh, perks activate when the enemy ships get within a certain range of you. Okay. Now, again, maybe my build's not uh, relevant. Maybe I'm making this all up on the spot, but a lot of times when I'm playing destroyer and I see those fireworks, I'm saying to myself, someone's near me, and it's probably a destroyer. Okay, and then the black came around the corner. We were ready for him combine shots that I think the main hit him pretty hard or whatever the battleship was and we finished him off great oh here's the z46 again he's still sailing around here uh that's fine again we're not afraid of the z46 the z46 sucks the only way the z46 wins fights against destroyers is if he gets them in the sonar web lennon takes him out great play there teammates shooting destroyers oh well we just lost a bismarck fair enough 
check this out three caps to one which is contested and by the way i'm about to flip that and here's where you have a winning hand right uh, we have four caps time they got a lot of time yes but two battleships that i can outpace and outspot and basically stay away from at my own uh, leisure they can go from cap to cap to cap i can sail around them and get on the cap just as they're leaving to go to the next one and reclaim it all right so destroyers it is eminently important if you manage to stay alive late in the game don't go doing anything dumb you see what i'm not doing here i'm not shooting in open water trying to burn this guy down to the ground i got four thousand health he's got forty thousand health i would have to hit him roughly 400 times he would have to hit me roughly once or twice okay to end the game and that would be considered throw so don't be doing anything dumb like that here's something mildly dumb like the the pure textbook play would just go sail to the north put the controller down go buff your dewey um second decent play okay i'm gonna pop the smoke hoping the lenin is spotted because i'm looking at the guy sitting in the channel i'm like okay he's probably gonna i think he's spotting the lenin or the sorry whatever this thing is the main as i drop the smoke and then i'm like okay i want to rack up some points here once again we're grinding we're trying to showboat whatever run up the score Eh, come on just spot for me and just pull forward if he dies we don't care he probably would care but um from the team's perspective as long as i'm not completely foolish we cannot lose this game so he does pull forward alabama shoots as well uh which increases his visibility even if that lennon isn't spotting that alabama would be spotted for uh 20 seconds while a smoke fire penalty is on and here's where we're again we're trying to switch to or hit him with hc and we can get 2k on a good full hit but most of these values and i'm keeping an eye on them i'm keeping an eye on the results we're getting a lot of shatters more shatters and pens 600 damage you know there's another decent shot 2k but no well now we've switched over to the ap so took a look at the difference here median kind of six eight hundred with the he trying to get the fire yes but switch over here and now we're getting between one and two thousand uh on the shots sometimes 22 25 so even at the range here we can do this again it's more profitable if we had one to two fires burning in the background while we're doing this but sometimes the rng cooperates sometimes not uh lennon combines with us to do some great amount of damage there good job uh he was attempting to angle away you saw that because if he got shot in the side he probably would have gotten blown up by the alabama uh, but at this point in time now uh, we're 40 points away from the win so once again sumner i think out of the ships i'm experienced with easily the best uh tier 8 destroyer delny i have to put the asterisk by though i i'm intrigued enough by it uh that until i've actually played it and confirmed or denied my suspicions we can't exclude that from the category okay but i've run into them i've, I've seen them do some good things and just based on you know some of the characteristics like when i get shot by them oh that did a lot of damage it seems to impress me anyway We'll look at that ship eventually, but that was an early look at the Sumner. We'll probably review it again. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Questions, comments, link below, and peace.